We oh, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shancho. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, sir. Hey, this here is Saturday, November twelfth, twenty sixteen. V blog number one thousand forty four. Got a happy birthday going out to Dave uh Lehman. And so here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dave. Happy birthday to you and many more. Alrighty, alrighty. Hey, you know, we got the um treasure chest uh holiday gift and expo at the St. Charles Convention Center. Free admission. Come on down, enjoy yourself. Um Let's see, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and tomorrow 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So come on down. There are over 150 booths filled with unique, popular, and in-demand arts, crafts, items, and so much more. Something for everyone on your list. Plus, there will be raff door yeah, raffles and door prizes throughout the day. Don't miss it. Attend the event and bring your friends and join in the fun. Again, that's free admission and free parking at St. Charles Convention Center. It'll run again tomorrow, so be prepared. Well, the decorations are all up downtown on Main Street, so if you get a chance to peruse yourself down that way, go right ahead, take a look-see. And remember, starting the uh, 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 November the um, 25th, that the um, festivities for the uh, uh, Christmas traditions will be starting. So don't forget to get on down to Main Street for the 25th, day after Thanksgiving. Christmas Traditions is a month-long celebration of Christmas in St. Charles. The festival run, runs from Wednesday, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays from the day after Christmas through Christmas Eve. In addition to the 40-plus costumed characters who are always making season brights, there are also a host of other activities. Enjoy while you are in St. Charles. Charles for Christmas. Opening ceremony, star ceremony starts at November 25th at 11 a.m. Keysker Park with the gazebo, uh, 400 block of South Main Street. The 2016 season begins with the arrival of Santa and Mrs. Claus by horse-drawn carriage, escorted by the Lewis and Clark uh, Fife and Drum Corps and all of your favorite legends of Christmas. Watch as they hang the ceremonial ceremonial last piece of greenery, making the official start to the holiday season. The official St. Charles City Christmas tree lighting uh, ceremony, November 5th at 5 p.m. at uh, Brethel Square, corner of South Main Street and First Capital Drive. Join Mayor Sally Forth along with the uh, Cobblestone Wobblers, Walslers, for the annual lighting of the St. Charles Official Christmas Tree. While you're there, take the chill off of the evening with a complimentary cup of piping hot wazzle port the wazzle. Provided by the A N W or no, by AT and T Missouri. All right. Then uh you'll also have around one thirty PM uh the parade route. That's one thousand South Main Street to the J C stage in Frontier Park. Opening day will all will as always will as Saturday and Sunday during the festival, Main Street comes alive with the music, uh, pageantry, and spectacles of one of the best-loved Christmas tradition 
events. The Santa Parade cheer and celebrate as all of the Christmas tradition characters and carolers come together in a special uh, procession to the J.C. stage in Frontier Park. You won't want to miss the parade's grand finale uh, as a clavicade of our international Santas, each carrying the flag of their native land, herald the arrival of Santa and Mrs. Claus and their horse-drawn carriage. Follow the procession as it makes its way from 1,000 block of South Main Street to the J.C. stage in Frontier Park, where the parade will end up with a short family-friendly group, I mean program. Enter your child to win a ride with Santa. Santa's official carriage is sponsored by the St. Louis Carriage Company. Alrighty, that being said, let me see what kind of time we're looking at here. Uh, no time. It's free time. I don't know what's going on. Am I still paused? Nope, I'm not paused. I'm going. Just not seeing a time. Well, who knows? Who cares? I'm just going to keep her on up then for a minute or two. Well, let me uh, shrink that back down. Though. Hello, hello. Hopefully this is running. I'm not seeing time or anything. It's just kind of setting here. Doing not much of nothing. But anyway, that being said, let me see. That's enough of the tr Christmas traditions. That'll be going on for quite a while, so get on down to see the show. Alrighty then. Let me see if I can't pick up one song. I'd like to sing a song, so give me a chance. I'll pick one up and see if we can't throw her down for you. Okay, we'll try this one. Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots and ruined your black tie affair. The last one to know, the last one to show. I was the last one you thought you'd see there. I saw the surprise and the fear in his eyes when I took his glass of champagne. And I toasted you, said, honey, we may be through, but you'll never hear me complain, cause I've got friends in lower places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away, and I'll be okay. I'm not one on social graces. Think I'll slip on down to the oasis where I've got friends in lower places. Well, I guess I was wrong. I just don't belong. But then I've been there before. Everything's all right. I'll just say good night and I'll show myself to the door. Hey, I didn't mean to cause a big scene. Just give me an hour and then will I be as high as that ivory tower that you're living in? Cause I've got friends in lower places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my high blues away. And I'll be okay. I'm not big on social graces. Think I'll slip on down to the whole oasis of oh, who I've got friends. In lower places. 
I guess I was wrong. I just don't belong. But then I've been here before. And it everything is all right. I'll just say good night. And I show myself to the door. I didn't mean to cause a big scene. Just wait until I finish this glass. Then, sweet lady, I'll head back to the bar. And you can kiss my high-cut friends in lower places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. And I'll be okay. I'm not big on social graces. Think I'll slip on down to the old oasis where I've got friends in lower places. Alrighty, that being said, it looks like it's about time to our turn ourselves over to our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. And, well, today, the devotion is called Bread. And I'm going to be reading John 6, 34 through 51. And if you're keeping up with your Bible in a year, you'll be reading Jeremiah 51 through 52 and Hebrews 9. All right, I'm going to go ahead and not discuss the fact that I can't read the uh, Daily Bread. So, if you'd like to know what the bread is about, well, by golly, you just turn your own self on to odb.org, and you can catch it right there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and read John 6, 34 through 51. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But, as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from the heavens not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. Then... This is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he gave me, but rise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will rise up, I will raise them up at the last day. At this the Jews began to grumble about him, because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, who is, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. It is written in the prophets. They will all be taught by God, and everyone who has heard the Father and learned from him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God and only he has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life, and I am the bread of life. Your ancestor ate the manna in the uh, wilderness, yet they, did, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which anyone may eat and not die. I am the living bread, and come down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, 
which I give for the life of the world. And there you have it, John six thirty four through 51. And that looks like the end of it, so I'm going to have to say, Goodbye, my friends, it's time to go home. I said goodbye, my friends, it's time to go home. I hate to leave you, but I really must go home. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. As here's Shenandoah Bresco saying hello and how are you. And thanks for tuning in to the show, to, uh, to the Shen Show. And as always, you know God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name and come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are too.